Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and this evening we have a pretty short, a gentle sequence that I am doing in the evening time. Um, so this is a very good at the end of the day stretch. You can also do it in the morning. It's just very gentle overall. Also really good if you're dealing with any stress and anxiety as well as I frequently am. This is definitely beginner friendly, but all levels can enjoy. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. Starting just a comfortable seated position first. However that looks to you, kneeling or cross-legged. You can start either playing with your cat, with your hands on your knees, or if you want, you can put one hand on the chest and the other on the lower abdomen to really feel your breath entering into your body. And we're going to practice a very simple breathing technique. Please leave the tripod alone being, we call this our four part breath. So on a cat, simple count of four, you're going to be inhaling for four seconds, holding your breath for four seconds, and then exhaling for another four. So we'll take a couple rounds of this and the first round I will count you and then I will leave you to count yourself at your own pace. Breathing in, one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and carry that on at your own pace from here. the end of your next exhale, slowly blink open your eyes. And just from here, we'll be moving into an easy child's pose. So with your knees together, big toes and knees together at the back of your space, we're going to take the arms around and back, reaching towards your heels and just melt your forehead down. And continuing that breath now, this time feeling the chest rise against the thighs. Take note of the physical sensation, starting the practice. From here, reaching back towards either your ankles or your heels, grabbing on, rolling onto the very top of our head here. You should feel a stretch into the back of the neck. Just think about lifting your hips up. So very little weight going onto the top of your head here. And what we're doing here is creating some traction along the spine. And we're looking for some traction along the spine, feeling like you're Hands pulling against your heels as your hips are lifting up as high as they can reach. Again, not a lot of weight on the crown of the head here. Breathing in and exhale, lowering it down, coming up now onto the knees. 
tucking the toes under behind us, making sure the knees are directly below the hips. Placing the hands on the hips to make sure we're mindfully tucking our tailbone here so we're not sticking our lower backs out. Reaching back with the right hand to the right heel, stretching the left arm up and overhead, taking a partial to a camel pose, a slight back bend, getting a side body stretch as well. Breathe in and exhale, going to the second side, left hand to the left heel, right arm reaching up and back. Looking up if it's comfortable for the neck. And exhale, coming back up to center. You can either do that again. Both sides are coming into a camel pose. Reach your hands back to your heels, puffing your chest up, looking up or back, whatever is comfortable for your neck, making sure that tailbone is tucked. And if you feel any pinching or pain, make sure that you come back out of this. We're going for a pretty deep back bend here. And exhale, coming back up by placing your hands onto the lower back to support. Sitting back on your heels just for a moment. Place your hands on the knees. Closing the eyes and taking a conscious breath. Moving now along the side of their mat going into the wide-legged fold so taking our ankles out to the outer corners of the mat so choose your own flexibility here how deeply you want to go into the poses up to you keep yourself standing up like here start to walk the hands down taking this fold my feet are fl staying flexed here trying to maintain slight Straight back. What'd you see? Is it a fly? Go get it. Walking the fingertips back up towards the hips if you were folded over. Now bring your legs a little bit more narrow than what you just had it. You don't want to be going super far into this. We're going to bring the heels slightly in so there's a bit of space. The knees are bent here. There's a bit of space underneath them. Bring your hands to heart center in prayer. We're going to work on the internal rotation of our hips now. So with a straight back and a tucked tailbone, sort of like in that camel pose before. This time we're leaning forward, seeing how low we can dip here and breathe in, bring yourself back up. Now bring the knees in slightly and we're going to turn facing the short edge of the mat. Breathe in, exhale back to center, straighten the legs back out. Exhale, taking your fold again. Inhale it back up. Bend the knees, going over to the other side now, twisting towards the short edge of your mat. You end back to center. We're gonna do that one more time on each side, so straighten the legs back out. Exhale, can you go a little lower? Inhale back up, bend the knees, and take it to the left side. I think that's the left side. Back to center, straighten, lower. Trying to just use core strength to bring yourself back up. Bend the knees and take it over to the left. Rolling the shoulders back here. And inhale back to center. Nice, now bring the left heel in. Left heel in, right heel out, taking the right hand over to the left thigh, reaching the left arm up and overhead and if you can reach the right toes good for you if not that's okay taking this generous side stretch here making sure we can breathe exhale back up now turning over this right leg and just folding over taking your heads and knee pose
trying to make your exhales longer than your inhales. Walking fingertips back in. Just before the second side, let's just bring this left thigh in. We can face the back edge of the mat now, back side of the mat now, hugging the left knee in with the right arm, planting the left hand behind you, pushing into the mat to straighten out the spine. Inhale to lift, exhale to twist, looking over the left shoulder. Hugging the belly in. Exhale back to center. Now bring the right heel in and left leg out, moving over to the second side. So bring the left hand over to the right thigh, right arm reaches up and overhead, reaching for those left toes. If they can grab on, if not, that's just something to work for. Making sure the seated bones are grounding down, the hips are not lifting up here. Keep the shoulders down, away from the ears. And inhale, lift it all the way back up to center, now twisting over that left leg and folding forward, melting down over that knee. slowly starting to now slow down our movements bringing the right knee in we can face the top of the mat this time bring the right knee in hug the left arm around that right thigh bring the right hand behind us pushing into the mat inhale to lift and lengthen straight spine tucking the belly in and exhale to twist looking over that right shoulder making this very active, keeping that left foot flex. On your exhale now, look forward and release. And just lay it all the way down, hugging the knees into our chest, Dabhanasana. You can bring the knees out to the shoulders, grabbing onto the outer edges of the feet, coming up into our Happy baby. Releasing the lower back into the hips. You can rock side to side, play around with stretching one leg, maybe even the other. And bring the heels back down to the mat, walk them as close in to the glutes as you can. And inhale, peeling your spine off of the mat, squeezing into your glutes to come up into your bridge pose. Feeling a gentle inversion and just a small amount of strength with your heels digging in and your inner thighs squeezing together. Breathe in. Breathe out, lowering it back down. So a couple options here. You can either lift the leg straight up and take a little waterfall, allowing the fluid that often settles in the ankles, and the heels at the end of the day to reverse their motion. Option number two is to pick the hips up and supporting your lower back with the hands and lifting, straightening the legs all the way up into our shoulder stand. So taking an inversion at the end of the day is really good for your whole system. I don't know why, I just know that it is. Pointing the feet, 
maintaining that breath. You can release the legs over the top of the head, taking the feet down just above your head into a plow pose, clasping the hands behind your back and now straightening the elbows. You can point or flex through the feet. This is an awesome release for the lower back here. And slowly, you can bring your hands up to support your low back and your hips. Melt your spine all the way back down, resisting a slingshot effect. Bringing the heels back down to the mat. Bringing them together, opening the knees out wide to a reclined butterfly. You can bring the elbows up and overhead or the arms up and overhead. A little gentle opening into the chest, slowing it down here. I invite you to return back to that four part breath that we were practicing at the beginning. Release any tension you may be holding in the chest. Allowing your body to really sink into the ground beneath you. So from here, you can straighten out the legs and find yourself in a Shavasana. You can even go straight to bed. I'm going to finish the seated. So bringing the knees up together, may you use your hands, bring them back into your chest, taking the Apanasana one more time. We're rocking up to seated position where I will meet you, closing the eyes, hands meeting the heart center here. one big breath in together in through the nose and exhale sigh it out the mouth and love and light me season on of the love and light me to at least say namaste thank you so much for joining me i sure hope you enjoyed this evening practice if you were doing it in the evening again this can be done any time of the day if you did like this make sure you leave me a thumbs up comment down anything anything, I guess, and subscribe for more. And until then, thank you so much.